Hey friends, this is Jason Sebo, CVA's National Sales Manager. And I'm Jeff Danker from Buck Ventures. And today we're going to go through the steps for cleaning one of these muzzle loaders that we've just shot. Now I know what you're thinking, that muzzle loaders are a pain to clean. Well, they're not, and here's why. First, today's guns are much easier to clean because of features like this CVA quick release breech plug, which allows you to remove the breech plug without any tools at all. Just a few turns with your fingers will do the trick. Second, cleaner shooting propellants like 777, IMR White Hots, or Blackhorn Powder leave much less residue than old style powders, and the residue that they do leave is much less corrosive. Third, the cleaning products that are now available are the best and easiest to use ever. Jeff has those products spread out right here, and he's going to tell us all about them. Well, first of all, we got the latest and the greatest stuff from the CVA Barrel Blaster line of cleaning products. Foaming bore cleaner, Wonder Gel Solvent, Quick Clean Patches, Rust Prevent Patches, Part Soaker, Rust Prevent Spray, and the Anti-C Stick. Then we've got our range rod, cleaning jag, and bore brush, a bore swab, cleaning patches, a breech plug clean out tool, and an oil cloth. Now what you're going to see here is the easy way to clean a muzzle loader. With these new guns, propellants, cleaning products, and cleaning techniques, you'll save yourself a lot of time and trouble. So let's get started and let Jeff take it away. Okay, the first thing I do is run a bore brush through the bore. This loosens up all the fouling that has accumulated in the barrel during shooting. Next, I run one quick clean patch through the barrel, then I take the breech plug out of the barrel. See how easy this is with the quick release breech plug? And I place it in the part soaker. Then we'll remove the barrel from the action. You only have to remove one screw. Then I'll break the action open just like this and the barrel comes right out. Next, I'll set the barrel down on a horizontal surface and spray barrel blaster foaming bore cleaner into the bore and let it work on its own for about an hour or so. Essentially, the foaming bore cleaner is doing all the hard work for me while I'm off doing something else. In about an hour, I'll just run two or three patches through the barrel and it's clean. Sounds easy enough, Jeff, but what about the guy who needs to clean the barrel in a hurry, say in the field, or the guy who still uses sabots and needs to clean the barrel between shots? Well, for those situations, what I recommend is the Barrel Blaster Wonder Gel. What's unique about the Wonder Gel is that it is a gel rather than a liquid, so it won't spill out in your shooting box or your possibles bag. And because it sticks to the patch, it's more economical to use. Now that you have the gel on the patch, you run the patch through just like you would with any other solvent, repeating the process until they come out clean. Now that the barrel has been cleaned with either the Barrel Blaster Spray or the Wonder Gel, Jeff sprays down the action with Rust Prevent Spray. Then he wipes it down with the oil cloth. Now if Jeff was doing a thorough cleaning job, say like the end of a long shooting season or even a long hunt, he would also remove the firing pin and spring for cleaning. This is pretty easy to do and all you need is a flathead screwdriver. With the screwdriver, you just remove the firing pin bushing from the frame, and the firing pin and spring will drop right out. Clean them, lubricate them, and reinstall. Now pay attention here. If your firing pin ever will not retract and remains in the forward position like this, you need to clean the pin and spring. Trying to operate the gun with the pin unretracted can damage your firing pin or maybe even cause the gun to fire when closing the action. You can check the function of the pin and spring simply by pushing the hammer forward while the trigger is depressed. If it retracts when the hammer is released, everything is functioning correctly. As you've seen, cleaning is a very easy process with any CVA brake action gun. Once finished with the frame, he'll spray down the barrel with rust prevent spray and wipe it down. Now it's time to reassemble the gun. He places the barrel back in the action and installs the four stock. Then the breech plug is removed from the part soaker, the face of the plug is cleaned with a brush, the fire channel is cleaned with the breech plug cleanout tool, and lastly, anti-seize is applied to the threads using the anti-seize stick. And Jeff, that's a very important step, isn't it? It sure is. And if you forgot to use the anti-seize, it could make the breech plug virtually impossible to remove the next time you fire the gun. Now with the threads well coated, I can just screw the breech plug into the barrel, insert the ramrod, run a rust prevent patch down the barrel, and I'm done. The gun is now ready for storage. 
And there you have it. That's all you need to do to get your muzzleloader in great shape and ready for your next hunt. And make sure you make that next hunt with a CVA.